On down at Pingu's house, you can see he's invited a friend along as well. They've blown up lots of birthday balloons and they've got their little party hats on and lots of food on the table. Looks very tasty. And just a minute, there's somebody knocking at the door. And if we have a look who's behind the door there, we can see that arriving to the party is a birthday girl. There she is, walking through the snow. It's actually Jade Hughes, who is three years old today. And this comes with lots of love from Mummy and Daddy and your sister Dawn, who made this great card. She's cut loads of bit, bits out there and stuck them all on. Thank you very much for that. Now, the Incy Wincy Spider today is having a bit of trouble in the drain pipe. You can see that he's flown down the drain pipe. Oh dear. And you can see that there's lots of water about, so he's put his umbrella up. And if we just have a look underneath the umbrella, we can see a birthday girl. It's Lydia, who is two. Happy birthday to you. With lots of love from your big brother James, who's under the sun, with his bow tie on. He's three years old. And also love from Mummy and Daddy. Don't go away because we've got loads more birthday cards to read out after the roundabout stop in Play Days. It's a play bus. But where does it go? Where does it stop? Watch for the sign of the lollipop. Stop. Hello, welcome to the roundabout stop. Hello there. Have you seen this, Rosie? Seen what, Mr. John? Tiny little footprints. They run all the way round here. I wonder what could have made them. I don't know, Mr. J. It's very strange. We'd better keep our eyes open. What was that? Did you hear something, Rosie? There it is again. How peculiar. First tiny little footprints and now a squeaky noise. We're here, Mr Jelly! It's Poppy, Peggy and Y. I'll see you at the ticket booth. Hello, you three. Hello, Hello Mr. Mr. Jolly. You haven't seen anything small leaving footprints round the place, have you? Um, only Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be daft. I haven't left any footprints. I always wipe my wellies. Mm, well, do. it's a bit of a mystery. There's something round here somewhere. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Jolly? Yes, Poppy. When are you going to open Rosie? Oh, yes, sorry. <laughs> Rosie the Roundabout is now open. The most magnificent, magical, merry-go-round imaginable. Mm. Have we got a ride in store for you? Yeah. But first things first... Tickets! Tickets! Round tickets, square tickets, shapes that you know. Take one and dream of the places you'll go. And maybe we'll find a song that you know. When me a triangle for me, please. There you go, why? Triangle. Um, I've got the, um, the, the circle, please, Mr Jolly. The circle for you, Poppy. Thank oh, you. the square for me, please, Mr Jolly. And the square for Pegs. Thank you. Right, you've all got your tickets. Yay. It's time to climb aboard Rosie. Please, <laughs> roll up, roll up. Come on inside. It's time for a magical roundabout ride. <laughs> roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around Roll up and ride on Rosie The magical, musical, merry-go-round Come on and roll, roll up and ride, ride on Rosie. Rosie You'll feel as light as air Roll up and ride on Rosie She'll carry you here and there and anywhere in Rosie's marvellous musical world Nothing is quite as it seems Rosie goes round and round till you found Someone or something who's straight from your dreams So roll up and ride on Rosie She'll turn you around and around Roll up and ride on Rosie The magical musical merry-go-round you found out about a magic roundabout i'm making a sound about this magical musical merry-go-round right poppy 
It's your adventure first. I was just doing a spot of spring cleaning. The windmill gets very dusty if I don't dust it. Oh, it is a very nice windmill. Oh, thank you. I do my best to keep it clean and tidy for the visitors. Hmm. I can't help feeling there's something not quite right with it. Oh, it's been in my family for ages. My dad was a miller. Oh, hmm. What is it? Do you know? And my granddad. Oh, hmm, hmm. Don't like to ask. Might hurt his feelings. And we've always sung the Miller's song. Do you want to hear it? Oh, all right then, Mr. Miller. And it goes like this, Poppy. Right. <clears throat> the wind blows and the wind blows and the sails go and the sails go turning, turning round. Very nice. And the corn grinds and the corn grinds and the flower falls and the flower falls into a sack on the ground. You join in. All oh, right. The, the wind, wind blows and the wind blows and the sails go and the sails go. Turning hang, round. Hang on a minute. Huh? Well, 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 the, the wind's not blowing, is it? Oh, that's just it. You're right, Poppy. The wind isn't blowing. So the sails aren't turning. Oh, you're right. I was hoping you wouldn't notice. It's so embarrassing, a windmill with no wind. No. I'm not making any sacks of flour, and it's all the fault of that lazy north wind. Oh, if you ask me, the north wind's having a little doze. Mm. Yes, look! Well, I wish someone would wake him up. Mm. That's a good idea. Mm. What is? Well, could I borrow your feather duster? Uh, and can we go inside your windmill, please? Aye, by all means, come in, come mm. in. But but what are you going to do? Well, I've got a really brilliant idea. Right, come oh, on. All right. right, Mr Miller, I need a long stick. Oh, oh. and some string. All oh, right. I've just had a really good idea. Just watch. Oh, what are you going to do with my feather duster, then? <laughs> That's a clever bit. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh. <laughs> wakey, wakey, Mr. Windy. <laughs> oh, look, it's worked. <gasps> We've done it. Oh, I mean, you've done it, Poppy. You. Blow, wind, blow. Make those sails go. Yeah. <laughs> The wind blows and the wind blows and the sails go and the sails go turning, turning round and the corn grinds and the corn grinds and the flower falls and the flower falls into a sack on the ground. Oh, I'd better go and collect it. Thanks, Poppy. Bye. Bye. Papers filled, filled with a windmill. Rosie! Ah, choo! So, Poppy got the windmill to turn, and now it's time for Wise Adventure. What do you think she'll find? Come on and roll up and ride on Rosie. She'll turn you around and around Roll up and ride on Rosie The magical, musical, merry-go-round Thanks, Rosie! What say? What's this then? A pair of shoes. Hmm. Somebody must have left them here. Now then, 
What a funny pair of shoes they are. Look at them. They're made out of wood and they've got patterns all over them. Hmm. Oh, I know, I know, I know. They're clogs. Hmm. Was that a yes? What say? They can move? They must be clever clogs. <laughs> oh, dear me. Well, I wonder who left them here. Hmm. Because you're not baby shoes, are you? No, no. You're far too big and heavy to be baby shoes. Hmm. What about a clown shoes? No, 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 no. Clown shoes are long and floppy. Hmm. What about a policeman's shoes? No. Not a policeman either. Oh. What's they? They've gone! Hmm! Oh! There they are! They've gone behind those curtains! Oh, I wonder what's behind there! <laughs> Two pairs of clever dogs! <laughs> and it looks like they found their owners! Dogs too. <laughs> They've danced right into my shape. Hmm. Boozy. So that's a clog dance and a windmill. What's in store for Peggy? Do you think? Hold tight, Pegs. Roll up and ride on Rosie She'll turn you around and around Roll up and ride on Rosie The magical, musical, merry-go-round Rosie. Oh, it looks like somebody's very busy in the kitchen. Now, let's see. Oh, flour, salt, rolling pin. Oh, they must be doing some baking. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Oh, hello, Peggy. Hello. Are you doing some baking? I certainly am. I'm very busy today. I've got Millie's birthday party to cook for, and there's lots to do. Oh. Oh, what's that? Oh, that'll be my oven beeper. Means the biscuits are ready in the oven. I'll just go and get them. Better put my oven mitts on because they'll be hot. Oh. Oh, I love biscuits, especially party biscuits. I wonder what they'll be like. Eh. What do you think of those, Peggy? Oh, they're very nice. Eh? Now, let's see. Round ones, mm -hmm. square ones, diamond shapes as well. <laughs> yep, I cut those out myself. Um, aren't they a bit small? Small? No, I don't think Millie will think so. It's her birthday party after all. Oh, is she having all her friends round? I don't think so, Peggy. No, she's got a very large family, you see. Lots of sisters and aunts and brothers and uncles. There won't be enough room in the hole. A hole? Is that where she's having her birthday party? Yeah, of course. That's where they all live. Now then, I think I'll do some cheese shapes. They'll love those. Oh, that won't be enough cheese for everyone, will it? Oh, yes, that'll be plenty. And I've got my special star cutter here to cut the shapes out. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, cut them out one by one. One, two, three, I think everyone's lovely. going to be rather hungry at this party. That's the right. food's so small, it wouldn't feed a mouse. Now then, I'll just put the shapes on the plate. <laughs> 
Cheese stars. Millie loved those. Aren't you going to make any jelly and ice cream? I always have that at birthday parties. Oh, no, Peggy. Millie won't like that. No, cheese is her favourite. Oh. And cake, of course. Oh, my giddy bananas. I nearly forgot the birthday cake. Just a minute. Can't wait to see the cake. I love birthday cakes, don't you? I like them cut into great big slices. Mm. There you go, Peggy. One birthday cake. What do you think of that? Well, oh, um... Well, it's very pretty. Is everyone at the party having their own cake? No, Peggy. Just the one cake. We'll oh. cut that into slices. Mm. Oh, of course, it's got to have the candles on. Oh, yes. Here we go. Here's one. Mm -hmm. Oop. Two. Ah, oh, Millie's only two years old. <laughs> That's right. Would you like to meet her? We're ready for the party now. Ah, oh, yes, please. Can I come too? Of course you can. This way. Oh, wait for me. There we go, Peggy. I've just lit the candles. This is where Millie lives. Where? In this hole? Yeah. I told you she lived in a hole. All her family live here. But not even I'm small enough to fit in there. It's a mouse hole. What? Oh, Peggy, you didn't think <gasps> oh, that I... <laughs> Millie's a mouse. Oh, no wonder we were making all the food so tiny. It's a mouse birthday party. That's <sighs> right, Peggy. It's a mouse birthday party. <laughs> Let's see if Millie's in. I'll just put the cake in. Right. Millie! Millie, we've got something for you. Oh, oh, dear, look, oh look, the party's started. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Millie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! <laughs> oh, it looks like they're having a lovely birthday party. And the cake looked wonderful with all the candles alight. Oh, oh look. Millie's given us one of her birthday crackers. Thanks, Millie. That's very kind of you. Thank you, Millie. Happy birthday. <laughs> Look, there's a mouse in my shape. Rosie. Roll up and ride on Rosie. Come on and see what we've found. We've had a ride on Rosie, a magical, musical, merry-go-round. Yes, I'm a magical, musical, merry-go-round. A windmill, a pair of clogs and a mouse. A windmill in old Amsterdam. A mouse lived in a windmill in old Amsterdam A windmill with a mouse in and he wasn't grousing He sang every morning How lucky I am Living in a windmill in old Amsterdam I saw a mouse Where? There on the stair Where on the stair? Right there A little mouse with clogs on Well, I declare Going quick Clippity clop on the stair. Oh yeah. The mouse he got lonesome, so he took him a wife. A windmill with mice in is hardly surprising. She sang every morning. How lucky I am living in a windmill in old Amsterdam. I saw a mouse. Where? There on the stair. So that's who's been leaving their footprints all over Rosie. Oh, oh there's the best bell. Time to go. Bye, Mr. Bye, Mr. Jolly. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, you three. Bye-bye, Mouse. And don't forget to join us next time for another magical ride on Rosie. Bye. Bye. Bye.